Hello guys, this is Mike from eProgramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to re-go over Scanner. We kind of went over that in the beginner series, but I'm going to show you how this works with I.O. and why I like to use it more than any of them. Scanner actually is not in, is not in the uh, Java.io package, in the Java.util package. So the variable that you make with a scanner is not a stream object but it creates an input stream opening a file for input and so in this case if we want to read a file we have to instantiate a file object and the way we do that is we say file capital F and we can say file name because that variable is going to be pointing to a string and the string is the file so we're going to say equals new file and in its parameters, we're going to the string to the file name. And we're going to put the absolute path because, as you can tell in this folder, I don't have any type of text file or anything. So I actually have a HTML file that I had made in one of my HTML tutorials. Very basic. So I'm going to, I think I already have it saved, so I'm going to copy and paste it into here. And it's the absolute path. So remember, if you don't have it in your in your directory that you're working with, it won't find it and it'll throw a file not found exception and we will have to throw a either a try, put up a try catch block or put a throws declaration up in the method header so now that we have that we can import file and now we can create a scanner we can say scanner scan and for right now I'm just going to say equals null because I want to create it I want to create it here but then instantiate it within the try catch block and the reason I want to do that like I said in some uh, earlier tutorials is so I'm not subject to the try catch block scope I can use scan further on if I really need to but in this case I really don't need to but it's a good practice to create it this way so I'm gonna instantiate now so I'm gonna set scan and I'm going to create a new scanner object with it new scanner and in the parameters right here it takes in a file in this case scanner can take in quite a few different types of objects if you want to look it up on the the Java API but for this case we're looking at how to deal with files so we can put in file name and it's going to want us to surround it with a try catch and we can do that that's fine get rid of this to do statement and in here now, in just a couple lines of code, all we have to do is say while scan dot has, I'm going to say next line instead of next, really doesn't matter, but I want to print out a, a line at a time, so we want to say has next line, and then we can print out each line by saying sys out, control space, scan dot, yeah, scan dot next line. And if you look here, you can parse through these files. If you know, for instance, that it contains a lot of double values or, or ints or something, you can use those as well. But I just want to use next line, which is a string object. So no matter what's in there, it could be all numbers, but next line will still work and, and cast it to a string. And if we print that out, we should get our little simple HTML file down here, and we do. Open this up for you, and as you can see, this is the file. Not too complicated, real simple. And that is basically what the scanner does. And like I said, it doesn't, the scan uh, variable is not a stream variable, but it opens up the stream for this file. That's what it does. That's why, if you look up here, scanner is in the util package. The file is in the IO package. There's other ways to do things. The way I would have done this is I would have got rid of this file name. You don't need that necessarily. And you can just take in, I'll just move it and get rid of all that. And it will do the same exact thing if we run it down here. Okay, so what I just did was in the parameters I still gave it a file but I didn't have to give it a variable name or anything like that I just straight up instant instantiated it by saying new file and with the file name 
And like I said, make sure if it's not in your directory that you have the absolute path because if I just wanted to say first.html, I should get this file not found exception. And it will do this e.printStackTrace. Okay, so it did not find it for us. So that's what the scanner can do with the I.O. It's not an I.O., but for me, that's the main thing I use when I'm dealing with reading files. So thank you all for watching, 